it's general thoughts on the game? Uh, it was never in doubt. Uh, look, the bigger picture stuff for me, um, we can pull it apart, and, and we will do, and we'll learn from all sorts of aspects of the game. But the bigger picture stuff for me is there's, there's, there's two things that went on there. Um, I thought Australia made it an absolute dogfight and fair play to them. I thought they was courageous in how they went about their, their, their game. You know, it was uh, abrasive to say the least, certainly at the breakdown. You know, and uh, they had the courage to, to shift the ball like we, like we knew that they would. And it was dangerous, uh, obviously, with their outside backs, etc. But, you know, for us to, you know, back up a few ill-disciplined bits and then a, a few errors um, technically, tactically, and still find a way is a hallmark of a, a good side, you know, uh, a, a good side. And that's what all good sides do. You always find a way in the, in the heat of the battle. And, uh, you know, we're, we're delighted in that regard with the win. Can you give us a bit of background to when you lost Johnny and what you thought, how you thought of Jack Johnny? Um, he went out to do some kicking before the warm-up and um, he felt his calf, um, something going on there and unfortunately for him he, um, he tried his best to, to get right but he, the right choice was not to play and um, it was great for us in, in, in so many ways for, for, for Jack to, to get the start because it wasn't just to see how Jack would handle that type of uh, situation, but how we handled it as a as a as a group to, to help Jack out. And uh, yeah, I thought the kids stood up tall. Thank you. Andy, you mentioned uh, touch buildings during the week. Could you just give us a little bit more detail? About Have a look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't normally look like that the whole time, you know. <laughs> um, well, look, to, to be fair, to, to be fair, the, the lads don't want any excuses. They don't, um, you know, and we, we, we certainly wouldn't look for any, but um, there's been a bit going around for, for the last couple of weeks and uh, uh, quite a few lads have, um, have uh, gone over the, the call of duty, really, so um, that's, that's the character of the group and that's what they want to do for one another. You just talked a little bit about Ross Byrne coming out of what he did, and obviously he hasn't been part of the team with the it's awesome for him. I was uh, absolutely delighted for him. Um, you know, you, you know, Ross's temperament is, is, is made for him that type of situation where it's, um, it's gridlocked and, uh, um, you know, it was a tough enough kick, wasn't it? You know, when the penalty came, it was a tough enough kick, but there was, there was no doubt ever in, in Ross's mind that he was ever going to do anything but go for the three points. So, fair play to him. He's waiting for that chance and uh, he, he delivered it and uh, got us over the line. And you said there the, the start of the, the breakdown was quite messy. What was it like out there? It seemed like both sides were, were struggling to get a grip on the various stages. Yeah, look, well, I think we were a little bit on at times, but as Andy said, they, they certainly made it a dog fight. Um, you know, it was difficult at times um, when we were backing up penalties to. You know, to really get stuck in and, and to get into a flow, but you know, in that area, in particular area, you know, it was a proper test match battle. It, it, like there was there was no phase of play that wasn't hugely contested. Like you know what I mean? Not one breakdown. Um, you know, exit rock. You, you name it. Everything was a was a fight. So you know, credit to credit to Australia there. And Andy, on, on Johnny's injury, like you, you've spoken a lot over the last few weeks about like organising the A game the night before. Springbok game about how you want to see how people react under pressure. Like, I mean, losing your captain 20 minutes before the, the last game of the season, putting Jack Crowley in for his second cap that probably feeds in with it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not ideal, but it, but it is really, you know, for us. Because, you know, it's to, to find out in in a window like that um, is, is fantastic for us as a group, you know. Um, I, think, I think the autumn's been great for us. You know, I don't think we've played our best rugby, but. Um, to play against South Africa, and uh, that was a test that everyone wanted to see us um, uh, manage, and we did that pretty well. And then, you know, we um, a bit more opportunity against Fiji, and learned some good lessons from that. And we'd not played Australia for for five years, and we knew the Australian mentality. And you know, we we, we don't take anything um, 
anything on that we that we that we know that's coming out from the from the the um, the media etc. In, in regards to their form, because we know that the Australian mentality when the backs are against the wall, they're always going to come and, and produce a performance like that. And I just said to the boys in there that you've got to get used to it, you know, and we've got to get better and, and, and raise our standards because um, the reality is that people coming to the Aviva now, uh, you would expect them to, to, to play at the very best and we've got to be better in that regard. And the after was been a very successful end to what's been an excellent year. And where do you think your team stands now ahead of what's going to be a, a really important 2023? Um, with, with a lot to do, which is which is great, and that's the reality. We're, we're, you know, we um, we've we've certain aspects of our game um, as always that we, we we'd love to get better, and you know, the, we'll anal we can analyse that game till the, till the Crows come home and, and and get better. But we've we've got to keep pushing forward with all aspects of our game. You know, we've got to be more innovative as as coaching staff etc so we, we expect when we come in for the Six Nations to, to, to improve our game and keep pushing on forward. Hopefully it's in a tough time to still be world number one after the, the autumn series. I know you don't put too much into it but you know for the next few months it's world number one. Oh look it's, it's um, I actually don't know how, still don't know how the point system works you know I can't be really bothered trying to work it out because um, it's it's a little bit irrelevant in the sense that you know we just want to keep improving our performances and, and keep pushing forward and keep testing ourselves etc. You know, um, but the the, the 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 people that deserve the accolades are, are the lads that put the work in. You know, and uh, they've earned the right to, to, to be up there. Um, they've also earned the right to be to be shot down as well. So uh, the pressures are going to be good for us uh, in that regard. Andy, how does it kind of work exactly? We saw there um, on the pitch, Jack's wearing Johnny's jersey, Ross is wearing Jack's jersey out there as well. Like, how crazy does it get? Like, it was pretty late notice, and, and does Johnny just step back, or is he going up and have a chat with Jack at all? Oh, he's gutted. He, he takes a step back, you know. He, he went round and wished everyone all the best, but uh, yeah, Johnny, Johnny will give Jack and, and Ross the room to, to, to get focused and uh, be part of the team, etc. So. Um, again, it, it happened, and we're, we're devastated for Johnny because he's devastated. You know, he he wants to help the lads put on a performance, but at the same time, even Johnny knows, like you know, that he's he's, he's good for us. We we find out where we're at, and uh, we uh, we need to adapt and, uh, and get better in that regard. And what does it say for the squad where you have Bundy coming in? He probably would have been love at the start. He didn't get the start. Came off the bench and like such a massive impact as well. Like, what does that say about his kind of character as well? Yeah, well, he's he's been in and around the group for the, for the last three or four weeks, and you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he's been going um, home um, and not coming to the games, but he's been part of he's been part of the group for for the, the whole period of, of the autumn, and you know he's, uh, he was a lucky one. He got over he got over for, for the try for us in the end, you know, and delighted for him. He's um, he's back up and running again, isn't he? And just Pete, just one for me. Um, about just Jack, you know, you're around him the other day, and once you're just, what was he like in those kind of final moments? Do you want to say anything to my dad, or do you have any doubts that he's going to go out there and do well? Because he seemed to handle himself very well at this point. Yeah, no, look, we were all conscious that we, you know, we wanted him, you know, make him feel a million dollars, and um, sometimes that's just, you know, a little squeeze of the arm or a pat on the back, and, and he knows then that you're there, and you know, the most important thing is your actions from a group, you know, from a forward pack or from a leadership group. And, um, you know, they weren't probably always up to scratch, but we, we always had his best interest at heart, definitely, today. You know what I mean? It was, you know, it's a big ask for a, a young man to come in and, and play 70 minutes against a team as good as that and, and, and to come out on top. And, he, he, look, he, it's, it's easy to see. He's, he's a good kid. You know, he's hungry to learn. He's great. Ambi uh, you know, he's, he's hugely ambitious. You know, he's... He's no fear of, of of you know asking questions or or saying the wrong thing. He's just you know what I mean. It's and it's refreshing to see someone you know that age getting stuck in and enjoying it and, and putting performance like that in. You know it's great for him.